you can see here my big Samsung 49 inch monitor. I love this thing. Uh, but one of the things that I don't love is the computer that I'm running with it. It's a shuttle XPC. This computer, this desktop computer was not top of the line, but it was a pretty decent computer when I bought it years and years ago. Now, the issue with this computer is that uh, it is only eight gigs of memory, which was great when I bought it, uh, you know, good when I bought it. But right now it is really starting to show its age. And one of the things that I could show you here is just uh, loading stuff up. I mean, it just, it, especially you'll, you'll notice on the load, but you know, when you're running programs, when you're toggling back and forth, when you're running multiple applications, I just kind of launched Word there. Uh, you, you it it starts to lag it starts to freeze in between the computer doesn't crash but it's just even toggling between apps sometimes can take a long time you know i'm not running anything except chrome right now and uh, you know word popped up here and i will just tell you that it gets uh, a little frustrating and especially if you have a lot of stuff that kind of preloads you know dropbox whatever whatever and what have you now one of the things that i didn't want to do is necessarily jettison this computer and one of the reasons is because even though generally I have Macs, like my Mac Mini here, I really do actually like having a PC because it just tends to be more compatible with work stuff. If someone sends you a PC file, it's better than running an instance of PC on a Mac to just run it. So I like having a PC, but what I wanted to do is make this computer a little bit uh, more speedy. Now, one of the things you can do here is if you go to crucial.com, crucial makes memory. And what I want is to their site and they actually have a thing here where you can go to upgrade my device and go down here to system scanner that will download a little exe file and scan your computer and tell you all the specs of it. But it will also show you matching. Um, you just go ahead here and uh, agree to the terms and conditions and then download it. Uh, it will show you matching RAM upgrades for your computer. Now I said this was uh, an eight gig. It showed me some RAM that would work. I actually cheaped out and kind of used Crucial, but ended up going to Amazon and finding matching memory that was 10 bucks cheaper, so I'm cheap. So I picked up these two um, RAM boards here. Uh, they should work and these are eight gigs each. So they should give me basically twice the RAM. Now, again, that's not gonna do anything for processing power. I know RAM latency is um, kind of an overstated issue, but I think having more RAM is gonna help me, especially on the multitasking, which is where I'm really noticing it. So I hope this computer is, is easy to upgrade. I'm going to shut it down now, take off the case, put this RAM in there, and then see you know, if we can see any improvements. Now, I'm not gonna make a very scientific uh, you know, objective case for this. I'm just gonna put these in and then go by the seat of my pants and tell you whether I think spending the money to get the RAM and do the upgrade was worth it. So let's put it in now. All right, a couple quick things I like about this shuttle PC right off the bat is that you have these little thumb screws uh, that hold on the case. Pretty dusty in there, I'm gonna vacuum it out. But that's really easy. I don't even need a screwdriver to get them out. Now you can see the RAM uh, boards right there. You've got two of them, I'm assuming two four giggers, and you can see the little switch on the sides, right? So what you just do here, and let me see if I can demo this for you. So you have a little switch on each side. You can see these empty boards right there. I guess what I could have done is actually is bought potentially two more matching four gig uh, boards there and put them in there. But you just pull out on this one and uh, the one on the other side and that should push the, the board up. Now you also wanna make sure that you put the new chip in correctly here. So I'm gonna pop these out and install it and then we'll reassemble everything and try it out. All right, so I've got the RAM installed and back together and as you can see here, I'm showing 16 gigs of usable RAM in this older Core i5 here. And what I have been doing is been playing around with it, as you can see, a couple of my uh, fans here. And I've been jumping around between multiple windows, running Word, and I can just tell you that right off the bat, my seat of the pants feel on things is especially when bouncing around between things, I'm not getting that frozen jitteriness. You know, often that little circle, the window circle showing, hey, I'm waiting, processing, processing. So it's certainly able to run multiple applications without causing me the delays that was that were really, really infuriating. Now, it doesn't do anything for processing, loading up stuff, you know, those types of things. Uh, the load up time on the computer as it's um, kind of running those 
um, behind the scenes background apps, you know, that's not going to change, but at least kind of balancing the, the applications that you have open at any one moment are, are pretty awesome. So check it out. I really love having these extra 16 gigs. Uh, it's a cheap and really easy way to help kind of recover the investment you have in your computer by kind of extending the uh, longevity of it just a little bit. You know, uh, again, this isn't supposed to be my main computer, but it's certainly a computer that I do use. So I will put a link to it in the description to the crucial tool as well as some cheap RAM that I found on Amazon. Peter Von Panda, out!